All parties in the matter of Birch versus Huffman, step forward. Cora Birch is suing her ex-boyfriend, Evan Huffman, for the return of belongings, tax return money, and her father's ashes. All right, Miss Birch, you have two children with the defendant. He has one of the children living with him, and I assume you have the other one living with you. Is that Ye correct? Yes, ma'am. How old is the child who's living with you? Nine. How old is the child who's living with you? Oh, uh, he's ten. What do you do for a living, Miss Birch? Um, I'm a homemaker. Well, currently a student, too. How do you support yourself? Um, I receive SSI. Okay. So the first part of your claim is that Mr. Huffman took the children off on his tax returns as a deduction, and you think you're entitled to half. Um, we had... Just a second. That's what the first part of your claim is? Yes. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Do you work, Mr. Huffman? Yes, Your Honor. And you're paid a salary? Yes. He's entitled to take the children as a deduction, not you. You don't work. Against what are you going to take the children as a deduction if you have no income? I um, support them. You don't support them. Every... No, we support them. You don't support them. He supports the child who's living with him, and he files tax returns, and he takes his two children off his tax deductions. He doesn't have to give you the money. You get money from the government. This is money that he earns, that he's allowed to take. If you both worked, I would say, you know, then it's, and if each of you has I... one child, then I would say to you, it's fair for him to take one child and for you to take one child, but you don't work. What's next? You say he has property that is owed to you. Yes. He has property that was in a storage unit because you were both all homeless for a while, you weren't living any place, you had to put your property into a storage unit. What property do you claim that he has that belongs to you? He actually um, still has priceless artifacts to me, like okay. cremations of my father. You have any property that belongs to her in the storage no, unit? No, Your Honor. Are there still items in the storage unit? There are still items in the one storage unit that I haven't paid off yet, yes. So there could be her items in that storage unit? I don't think so, but... No, no, ma'am. Listen to me, Miss Birch. If you have items in the storage unit, do you pay for the storage unit? Um, the answer is no. Do you want to contribute to paying off that storage unit so you can look and see if any of your items are there. Actually, he signed this for taxes, and this was something... He just had my mother's cremations, too. My okay. priceless autographs, things that are meaningful to me only. He's doing this for control, abuse... Miss Birch, I don't deal with that. I asked you a very simple question. I said, the two of you, who are parents to two children, each of you has a child that you are raising. The government is helping to support the child who lives with you. He's taking care of, I assume, the child who lives with him. There were two storage units. He paid off one. He opened it up. Your items weren't in there. Listen to me carefully. He says there is another storage unit that he hasn't paid off, so we can't get into it. He is lying. He says he doesn't have the property. And it may be in a storage unit that he hasn't paid off yet. And I'm suing him for bills? No. Bills, forget it. Huh? Forget it. Forget okay. it. Okay. Okay. Are we done here, sir? Uh, we are, are we done here? As far as are we done her here? side, yes. yes. No. Oh, no. We're done here. Okay. Okay? Not Good. correct. Good. We're done.